Hello, and in this video, I want to talk about uh, sheet metal and how to calculate the bend allowance using the 2 pi method. So assume we have a piece of uh, sheet metal and we have, have, have bent it. Uh, we will have a bend radius and th there will be a neutral axis along the, the aluminium. And the distance from the start of the bend to the end of the bend along the neutral axis, that is known as the bend allowance. So what is the neutral axis? Well, if I had a piece of metal and I applied a force to it, um, there would be a bending moment. So the, the metal would bend like this. And if this was the shape of this section of the metal, that's it over here. When we bend it, that shape becomes distorted. And we can see here that it's shorter on the top and it gets longer on, on the bottom. So if we were to look at the forces then, you know, if the piece of metal got shorter on the top, well then there's a compressive force to, to shorten it. And on the bottom, if it has got longer, then there's a tensile uh, force. So there's a tensile force there to, to stretch that piece of metal. And you can see here that it, it varies from compression to tension and the compressive forces are getting smaller as as we go down through the piece of metal as are the tensile forces they're getting smaller as we go up the piece of metal and at some point there is neither compression or tension so just at this point here and that's the neutral axis Okay, so that's our neutral axis here. There are another couple of points uh, that we want to point out. Uh, we have this mold point, and if we extend the flat side of the metal on both sides, where they, that line, this mold line, where that intersects, that's the mold point. And the start of the bend and the end of the bend, they're marked by what's called bend tangent lines. So the bend allowance is this distance between the two bend tangent lines. Okay, so if I look at a circle that makes this bend, so there it is there, that circle, it has a radius of the bend radius plus half the material thickness. So the neutral axis for a rectangular uh, cross section is uh, at halfway uh, through the metal. So it's half the material thickness. So that distance there is the radius plus half the material uh, thickness. And if I wanted to get the circumference of that green dotted circle, it will be 2 pi, whatever the radius is. So it's 2 pi, in this case, the bend radius plus half uh, the material thickness. But I don't want the full circumference. I only want this portion of it. Okay, so we could uh, modify our, our formula here to say that the bend allowance, so this distance here, is you know the circumference of the circle divided by, well, whatever the bend angle is, uh, into 360 degrees. So in our case, uh, the bend angle is 90 degrees. So 90 goes into 364 times. So it's a quarter of the, the circumference of the of this circle. So that's our equation using the 2 pi method for the bend allowance.